Proverbs chapter 13. Verse 21 reads, Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. Evil pursueth sinners. They're actually being pursued by which they pursue. But to the righteous, good shall pursue them. I'm going to try it again. For the righteous, good shall be repaid. Re is an indication of again. And it implies continuation. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. Some of us didn't get that. Because we have come through the product of a generational curse. But I'm believing tonight that we're going to break that. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. If you're righteous, won't you shout, that's me. That's me! Father, we thank you for this incredible opportunity tonight to transition into that which you have always wanted us to have. For we find throughout the text that the people in which you've called and chosen you have always identified them as blessed and highly favored. Yes. You have always provided for them in ways our minds cannot imagine. And here we are tonight in this particular place preparing to be in a position to assume that which you have already promised. Have your way tonight. Speak clearly to us that at the application of your spoken word, we will position ourselves tonight for a mighty transfer. Guru Akhadish, we ask that you will breathe in this place unlike you have before. We inaugurate your governmental control. You have your way. And Father, we thank you that at the end of this moment, our lives should be drastically altered. It is in the authority of Yahushua HaMashiach we do pray. And the people celebrated and declared, so let it be done. Hallelujah. Clap your hands up as you take your seat tonight. You clapping with a spirit of expectancy. Mm -hmm. I'm so honored tonight to be your guest preacher. I'm honored for this incredible opportunity to invoke such 
a move of Yahweh that ushers us into another level of living. It is such an incredible moment because for so long we have thought of this hour. We have prayed about this moment. We have decreed and declared and put our faith to the maximum in order to experience such an incredible time as what we are about to experience tonight. And I'm so honored to be chosen to be a part of this incredible transition in your life. I want to take my time and start off slow because I really want you to understand that this is just not another experience. Yeah, right, okay. But this is a strategic setting that Yahweh has called to talk to you in order to maneuver your life into what we've been proclaiming since January 1. Yes. Demonstration. He wants to talk to us tonight in such a way that the text would drive us into demonstration. That this won't just be a vernacular sermon, but a sermon that will produce demonstration in our lives starting tonight. Okay. If you will interject your faith in this move tonight and counsel out the assignment of doubt. I'm telling you tonight while we are experiencing him, he's going to do some amazing things for you financially. If you can interject your faith tonight and believe the words of your prophet. Some things will be established in your life tonight. I'm asking Yahweh not to do it tomorrow, not to do it next week, not to do it next month. But I'm asking him to do it for you tonight. Okay, I thought I was disappointed and be excited. Because I asked him to consider all the obedience that you have put forth. Okay, I don't, I don't cancel out of you folk. And I asked him to consider all the obedience that you have put forth yes. up until now. Yes, sir. I asked him to consider your consistency in your tithe and your offering. Yes. I asked him to consider all the seeds you have sown. Even the seeds you sown in abundance and the seeds you sown out of sacrifice. I asked him to consider all you have done to advance the kingdom. And I said, Father, because of their faithfulness and their obedience, manifest in their lives tonight. And so I'm believing if you will interject your faith tonight that he will do something miraculous in your financial circumstance tonight. I'm talking about before you leave here, before the benediction happens, that something ridiculous will happen in your financial situation. Anybody expecting him to do something ridiculous tonight? So if your faith will be in order, I guarantee you a transition. Okay. If your faith will be in order, I, I'm, I'm talking like this because of the atmosphere. I, I would have been gone by now because of atmosphere. I, I, I got to deal with the doubt that's attacking you now. Some of you are being pressured in your mind right now about doubt. 
thinking that Yahweh doesn't have the capacity to move whatever situation is in your life tonight. And I want to offer you the question tonight. Is there anything too hard? I want to offer you a question tonight. Is there anything too hard for Yahweh to do? I don't care how much you in debt. I don't care how much is over your head. It don't even matter. Because it's small fries for Yahweh, baby. What he wants to know is do you have the faith to move your financial mountain? Do you have the faith to move your mountain of debt? Do you have the faith tonight to prove the stuff that's been keeping you from living in life more abundantly? Ask somebody to say, do you got the faith tonight? Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Do tell them, do you have it? If you don't have it, come on, let's touch and agree because I need you to get it because I don't want you to miss your appointment and miss your divine reversal because you've been staring.